I mean, I think that like definitely keep going for it and go for it and like, but it's, I'm not going to lie, that's not going to be hard and you're not, you know, like lots of engineering is a lot of white men and that's who the field is, is built for and is filled with and like that is, you know, like that is the reality. Um, and so you can't, I don't think people should be hidden from that reality and, and like find some really great mentors and fellow students that you can do probably, you know, your work with. Like, I think one thing I really appreciate about my time at Smith and why I think like probably I would have left engineering if I was at most other schools was that like there were other students who I could find to do my problems with and knew what, you know, and who I could, we all had strengths and there were some things that I was good at doing and there were some things that they could do and good at and like we could do our work together and find, you know, finding those, finding your people I think is really important both like as your fellow classmates and as mentors who will like continue to cheer you on and finding workplaces that are healthy workplaces um and like but also know that it will be hard and if you decide that like it's not actually the career for you like that's okay too that like you don't need to keep on doing it because people keep on saying it's really cool that you're you know, going to be an engineer, there's, you know, engineer needs you. Like, yes, engineer needs you, but also like you need to do what's good. You can't be beholden to that. And like, you need to do what's good for you. Like I think about people used to say that like, oh, it's so great, you're gonna become a woman engineer. And I went to school for engineering and I decided like, no, actually that wasn't the career for me. And they would say, my sister, they would say to her, oh, it's so cool that you're going to be like a doctor um, because she was also interested in the sciences. And she went to school and she ended up majoring in creative writing, but then she found her way back and now is in med school. And so I think also paths are not linear. Um, they can be pretty circuitous um, and there's lots of paths to get to where you want to be.